Tanya DeWitt Campbell's journey to Maryville College started in Newport Ritchie, Florida, a city in Pasco County. Tanya had a very impressive high school career, lettering in multiple sports. Although she was recruited for both basketball and volleyball, Tanya decided to spend her first semester at a junior college. This talented athlete missed the game tremendously, and in January of 1988, Tanya transferred to Maryville College and began to play basketball. Unfortunately, Tanya tore her ACL a few weeks into the season. Following surgery and rehabilitation, Tanya joined the talented Scots volleyball team. I remember Karen Pauka, Peggy Lane, and Jamie Humphreys. They were all special players on the team, Tanya said about her teammates. Her first season with the Scots, Tanya had a great impact at the net and was selected to the Women's Intercollegiate Athletic Conference All-Tournament team. The team finished 31-16 and 14-3 and and in WEAC conference play. It was interesting playing with the knee brace on. It severely changed the way I played, making me use technique and strategy rather than relying on my past speed, the talented Scott stated. That year, Tanya also played basketball in the winter. At 5'10", Tanya was forced to move to forward, a result of the knee brace taking away some of her speed. At the conclusion of her first basketball season, Tanya decided to focus solely on volleyball so that she could excel in the classroom as well. In her second season with the Scots volleyball team, Tanya truly came into her own. Playing alongside Wall of Famer Leslie Henry, Tanya was able to play a significant offensive role for this dynamic team. After key wins against Greensboro, Oglethorpe, Emory and Methodist, Tanya had hit the season in full stride. This attacking Scott was named all WEAC, and she was also named All-Tournament with teammates Peggy Lane and Joni Harper. After finishing the 1989 season 34-13 and 15-2 and and in the Women's Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, Tanya was honored with a Coach's Award at their annual team banquet. Tanya continued to grow in skill and confidence during her sophomore season, and her game escalated because of her hard work and dedication. The 1990 season proved to be a dominant outing for Tanya. This outside hitter played 104 sets alongside fellow Wall of Famers Leslie Henry, Nikki Boop, and Jennifer McCafferty. During this impressive season, Tanya recorded 176 kills and 41 service aces. Along with these impressive statistics, she also stacked up 163 solo blocks, 292 block assists, and Tanya led the team in total blocks with 455. After finishing the season 24-12 and 10-3 and and in conference play, Tanya was named all WEAC and was selected for the WEAC All-Tournament team. The numbers speak for themselves in regard to Tanya's play, but this Scott was a team leader with even greater plans for her team during her final collegiate season. Playing outside and middle hitter during her senior year, allowed Tanya to show her dominance at the net with a unique style of play. In her senior season, Tanya displayed passion and inspiration for the game and leadership for her teammates. In a season to be remembered, the Scots finished 23-20 and 20 and 12-4 and in conference play. Tanya and teammate Nikki Boop were selected as all WEAC performers. Tanya was also selected to the all-tournament teams at Greensboro, Maryville College, Savannah College of Art and Design, and during the WEAC Conference Tournament. As a dominant force in the South, Tanya DeWitt Campbell was also honored by being selected as an All-South honoree. Tanya reflected on her favorite senior moment in the Orange and Garnet. My favorite memory was when my boyfriend, now husband, had flown my parents down to see my last game. They had never seen me play. As Tanya recalls this heartfelt moment, after her senior season, Tanya was selected as the team's most valuable player. Through her passion for the game, hard work, and persistence, Tanya DeWitt Campbell was able to represent the Orange and Garnet with great inspiration during her tenure. Tanya, or Tony as I love to call her, she was a phenomenal athlete. She made her team better. It was what she did on the front row, it was blocking and swinging, but it was also what she did on the back row. She was a true six rotation player. In addition to volleyball, she was also a basketball standout until she got hurt. What really makes her a, a wall of famer is her um, ability to make her teammates better around her. 
she was surrounded with good talent, but she they raised to her level of play. She always had a smile. She played with spunk. She was a, a student of the game. In addition, it was what she did on campus. Um, she was focused. She knew she wanted to be a nurse. She knew she wanted to be a caretaker and take care of others, and she's done that extremely well. T Tanya, we are so very proud of you. Congratulations for being a Wall of Famer. You deserve it wholeheartedly. We're proud of you, and we uh, are excited for you. Upon graduation and further education, Tanya began her career as a nurse, having served as a critical care nurse at the University of Tennessee and an ER nurse at Blunt Memorial Hospital. She returned to UT and received her master's in nurse anesthesia in 2003. She only had good things to say about her experience here at Maryville College. My impression of Maryville College today is one of great respect. I truly believe, had it not been for the education and life lessons that I learned from Maryville College, I would not be where I am today, Tanya said about the impact of Maryville College had on her life. Tanya's path to the Wall of Fame was paved with adversity and the promise of success that only progressed through years of dedication while suiting up for the Lady Scots. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you 2013 Wall of Fame inductee, Tanya DeWitt Campbell.